I am one of 7,000 Ford babies. I am 71 years old. And how I came to know Dr. Justina Ford is I have heard through my oldest sister how she delivered me when uh, we were living in, in uh, California Street. In April, I heard uh, or saw an advertisement on TV about Black History Month, and Dr. Ford's name came up and the museum. We went down there and uh, I showed them the, my birth certificate with her signature on the bottom. Before that, I always wanted to know what she looked like, Dr. Ford. I never, never knew what she looked like. So when I got down there and saw her picture, I melted. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. It was like her spirit was there and entangled with my spirit all over again, like that moment when I was delivered. When I was 13 years old, um, she asked me to come and get a, a little pan of water, put it in the dining room. She had, uh, she would, they were doing the delivery on my little brother, so she asked me to do that, I did. And uh, my dad was helping her with the delivery, and then as soon as they delivered him, she brought him over to me, where I was at the dining room table with a little pan of water. She told me to clean him up, and so I did. I washed him and cleaned him like a little doll and wrapped him up in a blanket. And uh, that was the way I assisted her and my little brother. Dr. Ford attended the delivery of over 7,000 babies, more than 37 different nationalities, and knew in the range of eight to 11 languages and dialects, and served people all over this community for 50 years. Dr. Ford was the youngest of four children, born in Knoxville, Illinois, and grew up in Galesburg, Illinois. Her mom was a midwife and nurse and would travel around and take care of folks, and Dr. Ford went along with her to help take care of these, these folks. So she went to Herring Medical College in Chicago and graduated in 1899. She had married Reverend John Ford in 1892, and after graduation, they moved to Normal, Alabama, where she practiced for a short time. Reverend Ford was called to minister here in Denver at Zion Baptist Church, so he arrived in 1900. Dr. Ford followed about a year and a half or so later and was granted her medical license in 1902. The examiner said he hated to take her $5 because she was both colored and female, but he took her $5 and granted her license. And then she applied to the Colorado Medical Society and they denied her because she was female and colored. Dr. Ford served quite a number of patients in this area during her lifetime. And one of the challenges she faced was trying to gain access to the hospitals. So even if she had an ill patient and she was taking care of them in their home, she was not allowed in the hospitals to take care of her patients. When I was about eight years old, my hearing was really, really in a trouble. And it was kind of late in the evening, I remember. And um, so I walked into the office and she said, oh, I take care of him. So she had me sit in a little chair like this, and I leaned my head over uh, to the little table that she had there, and the next thing I knew, I saw her with uh, these great big needles. They looked like chopsticks, you know, and she had this cotton in front of them and dipped them into the, um, into the alcohol, or I guess that's what it was. And then the next thing I knew, she pushed it in my ear, and I could hear this whoosh. Uh, releasing the pressure from behind my ear dr uh, drums and then she turned my head again and did the same thing there and psh, it was gone and I've been fine ever since.
a lot of her patients were not able to pay her. They might bring vegetables out of their garden. They might come over and do some work around her house. Zone cab was an important part of that story, is picking her up and, and taking her around to her patients without charging her. And she did everything she could to make sure that their well-being was first and foremost. It was above all, above everything else. Dr. Ford never had any children of her own, but she had 7,000 children of her own because of all the, the love and care that she gave to these children beyond their birth.